So you just paid off your loan and your credit score dropped. What happened? I'm here to help. I know this could be a confusing and almost scary situation, especially if you've been paying off your credit, doing everything correctly, and even paying it off early, which you'd think would actually benefit your credit score. Well, that's not always the case, and I'm here to explain all that. Hi, my name is Jacob Kustra, and welcome to the new series I'm starting called Common Credit Questions. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe button to stay up to date with all my latest content regarding personal finance, investing, and all things credit. Also, make sure to watch to the end of this video because I'm actually going to be providing you with a real case study with real FICO scores so you can have something to compare it to, especially if you are someone who's considering paying off a loan early or you're someone who already paid off a loan and just saw a significant drop to your credit score. You'll know what to expect. Without further ado, let's get right into it. First, it's important to remember everyone's credit score is different. That means it's going to be impacted in different ways. However, the one thing to consider is if you're looking at the FICO score, it's composed of the same five factors that make up the total score for everyone. First factor is payment history, which makes up 35% of the score and essentially looks at if you made every payment on time. The second factor would be amounts owed, which makes up 30% of your entire score and looks at how much you owe. The third factor is your length of credit credit history, which makes up 15% of your entire score and, as the name suggests, is how long your credit history is. In this case, the longer the better. The fourth factor of your FICO score is new credit, which is 10%. The more new credit you're seeking, the lower your score can be. This will show up on your account as hard inquiries, which will show a lender that you are actively seeking more credit in the form of either loans or new credit cards. The final factor is credit mix, which makes up 10% of your entire score. This essentially looks at how many different types of credit you have, so such as credit cards, car loans, more mortgages, etc. The more you have, the more trustworthy of a borrower you seem. So here's some reasons why your score might have dropped. The first reason you may have seen a drop could be because it was your only loan with a low balance. If you have other loans on your account with much higher balances and you decided to pay this one off first, it'll essentially show the rest of your credit is filled with high balanced loans. Thus, you may look worse as a borrower since the rest of your remaining loans still have those high balances. And this could be due to the fact that they are simply newer loans. So there may not be any avoiding this one, especially if this is an older loan with a higher interest rate, you'll want to get it out of the way first. The second reason you may see a drop is because this was your only installment loan. So if the rest of your credit is composed of just credit cards and you have no other installment loans, such as for other cars or even a mortgage, then you may see a drop in your credit mix, which we saw contributes to 10% of your total FICO score. Thus, as your credit mix decreases, so does the rest of your score. The third reason you may have seen a drop in your credit score could be because this impacted the average age of your credit. Paying off a loan, especially if it was one of the earliest on your credit history, could shorten the average age of your credit, which as we saw is a factor of your FICO score. Since average length of your credit history does impact 15% of your score, seeing a decrease to your average age could lead to a score drop. The fourth reason could be because because of paying off this loan stops you from getting future on-time payments on your credit history. So if you decide to pay off the loan now, great. However, in the future, especially if you don't have other forms of credit, such as credit cards, you can be impacting your credit score by not being able to have those on-time payments every single month. The final reason your score might've dropped is for any other reason. Sometimes it might've just been a coincidence that your score dropped after paying off a loan. There are so many factors that impact your credit score as we saw before, and sometimes Sometimes credit scores generally fluctuate. You could be doing the same thing month after month after month, and you will see fluctuations in your credit score just naturally. However, if the drop was significant enough, it was most likely due to prepaying this loan. Ultimately, this might leave you wondering whether you should pay off a loan early. The choice is ultimately up to you. However, here are five questions that you should ask yourself before making that choice. The first question you should ask yourself is, do you need your best credit score now? If you're someone who is looking for an additional loan or mortgage, then you most likely answered yes to this question as you know how important it is to have your best credit score possible when applying for such loans to get the lowest interest rate you can. Thus, you won't want to pay off this loan until after you secure that rate due to the simple fact that you can avoid any single drop happening in which case your next loan would ultimately be impacted negatively. The second question to ask is, would your money be better spent elsewhere? Now, I'm not talking about going and buying some new TV or something like that. I'm talking about putting that money that you would use to pay 
off this debt and paying off a different form of debt. For example, if you have a car loan with a interest rate of 5% and you have credit card debt with an interest of 22%, you'll want to use that money to put it towards the credit cards. That way you end up saving more money on the interest you would have spent. This does mean though that you still need to make the minimum payments on the loan. That way your credit score is not negatively impacted. The third and arguably most important question to ask yourself is will paying this loan put you at risk? I think this is something important to think about, especially in the recent times that we've all had and experienced, because if you put all the money you have in your savings to pay off this loan, it might feel great. However, if an emergency were to come up, will you be prepared for that? I always recommend having at least three months of expenses within a savings account or ideally six to 12 months worth. That way, in case anything were to come up and get you by surprise, you will be prepared and will not have to take on additional debt to be able to cover that emergency. The fourth question to ask yourself is, what will save you the most money in the end? Now, if you currently have a loan with a very low APR, it may be wise to use that lump sum that you would have used to pay the loan off early and invest it in some form of an asset, which will ultimately bring you higher returns than the interest you will pay on this loan. Thus, over time, that asset will make you more money and the loan will eventually be paid off through the minimum payments. And the lump sum ultimately that would have been used to pay off the loan will, in the end, be working for you to make you more money. The final question to ask is, are you trying to reduce your debt to income ratio? Now, this is extremely important for someone who may be looking for a mortgage, in which case this is directly considered in your application versus it won't have any impact on your credit score. Ultimately, the lower your debt to income ratio is, the more suitable of an applicant you will seem for a mortgage, and thus you have a higher chance of approval. So if this is something that is important for you, you may want to pay off that loan as soon as you can. I want to stress the fact that as long as you are doing everything else correctly, you will be okay. Ultimately, you may see a drop initially in your credit score as soon as you pay off a loan. However, after a few months, your score should bounce back to where it was or even higher. Now, as I promised, here's a real case study of a close friend of mine who had this exact experience happen. In this case, it was an auto loan which she took out in May of 2019 for a total of $15,000. Because of her age and young credit score, she was approved with a 6.9 interest rate over 75 month term. The reason for selecting such a long term is she bought herself time in case anything were to happen, she knew that she could make that monthly payment work no matter what, and ultimately was paying around $230 a month total towards paying off the loan. This is something that I recommend for everyone to do and why I recommend people getting a 30-year mortgage versus a 15-year mortgage. That way, in case something were to happen, an emergency were to come up, whatever the case might be, you can still afford the monthly payments, however, you can always pay more. So what she did is she paid it off early. While working another job and saving most of her income, she was actually able to pay it off in a little less than two years. And she paid it off this past February in 2021. Ultimately, if she waited and made the minimum monthly payments over the course of the loan's life, she would have paid $3,561 of total interest towards that loan. However, because she was able to pay it off early, she only ended up paying $761, thus saving her a total of $2,000. $800 of just interest that would have went straight to the bank. Now, this is a great reason why someone might want to pay off their loan early. As we can see, it could save you thousands of dollars. Now, I bet you guys are all wondering about her credit score at the time. And I was actually able to get her FICO scores from this exact period of time up until today so we can see the comparison for ourselves. Before she made her final payment on her loan, her credit score was sitting at a 768. After paying it off and doing everything else correctly, she saw an immediate drop to 755 after her credit score posted. After just one month, we saw her credit score rise to a 759. After a second month, we actually saw her credit score jump past what it was to 770. All it took for her credit score to recover was just three credit cycles after fully paying off the loan. Now, after just a few short months in September of 2021, her score stands at a staggering 789, which for being only 22 years 
old is impeccable and it shows the power of just doing everything on your credit correctly and following some of the advice that I've been providing to you guys on this channel. So as we can see, there are many total factors that can impact your credit score. So whether you decide to pay the credit score off early or continue to keep the loan will entirely depend on your current situation and whether or not you need a credit score that is stable over the next few months or if you would just benefit from paying off the loan early and saving the money on the interest. Either way, I hope that this video was helpful for those of you who already paid off a loan and saw a tremendous drop in your credit score or for those of you who are considering paying off a loan early. Regardless, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe button to get this video out to other people who may benefit from seeing such content and may be dealing with a similar situation as you. Additionally, if you have any more questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you or I could even make a video regarding your specific question. Lastly, if you found this video helpful, then be sure to check out my other content as you can learn a lot from the videos I've already posted. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a great rest of your day day.